This translucent set of magnetic tiles for kids contains 44 pieces. As you can see, there are various types, two holes. These, this is actually two different pieces here. They both look like teeth. Uh, two holes, one hole, little door. You could put a door on this one, I guess. You have different types of triangles. You have solid pieces. Um, yeah, you have a wheeled base and arched pieces. So 44 pieces of magnetic tiles. They're very pretty. And you can build with them to an extent. But honestly, I find them to be a little bit difficult to keep together. And if I were buying these for a toddler, I would not expect that toddler to be able to do this for very long. So preschoolers would probably have a little bit of frustration with these. Older kids might have more patience, but I don't know, even I run out of patience trying to make these things stick together properly. But they're a good value, I will say that. For 44 pieces, you get quite a few. And um, I mean, it's a good, price for 44 pieces. You can combine them with other sets of the same type and you'll know them when you see them on Amazon. There's many of these out there and they all work together. Uh, they don't work with like magnet tiles. What you want to look for are the pieces that are, they have magnets in this center here. They have plastic connectors on the, on the corners and they have these lines running through them. So those type will work fine. They combine with these and you can make yourself a nice big set. But again, I think toddlers and maybe preschoolers would be a little frustrated trying to keep this all together. So there's that. But I like them and I'm going to be giving them to my seven-year-old grandson who I'm sure will enjoy them quite a bit. I'm also sure that he's going to get frustrated and complain to grandma now and then when his pieces fall together, but that's part of learning. Why did it fall? What can we do to solve this? So for elementary students, yeah, these would be fine. 